And here is the Writer's Almanac for Monday, June the 29th, 2020. 1956, on this day, President Eisenhower signed the Federal Highway Act, which established the interstate highway system. During World War II, he'd been impressed by the Autobahn system in Germany, decided the United States needed something comparable. It turned out to be the largest public works project in American history, the first Coast-to-coast interstate was I-80, completed in 1986, running from New York City to San Francisco. It's the birthday of the writer Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, born in Lyon, France, in 1900, renowned pilot, best known today for his classic children's book, The Little Prince, about a little boy who lives on a planet so small he can watch the sun set 44 times a day. Saint-Exupéry grew up in a castle with a coterie of aunts and cousins and sisters and nurses. The family was aristocratic but impoverished. He became a pilot in the French Air Force. He helped establish airmail routes over northwest Africa, the South Atlantic, South America, crashed numerous times, and despite all of the injuries, he continued to fly. 1935, trying to win a big prize by setting a new speed record from Paris to Saigon, he and his mechanic crashed in the Sahara Desert, wandered for four days. He used some of that experience in writing his book, The Little Prince. 1944, saint exupery flew a reconnaissance mission over France and never returned, crashed in the Mediterranean not far from Provence. It was on this day in 1613, the Globe Theatre burned to the ground in London, the thatched roof caught on fire after a cannon misfired during a production of Henry VIII. It was rebuilt in 1614 and was in use until 1642 when the Puritans closed all the theaters and the building was pulled down. A replica was built in the 1990s. It's the birthday of the man who wrote Guys and Dolls, Frank Lesser, composer, lyricist, born in New York City in 1910. Also wrote the first big hit song of World War II, Praise the Lord and Pass the Ammunition. Here's a poem for today that you learned in junior high school, a poem by Christopher Marlowe. Come live with me and be my love And we will all the pleasures prove that hills and valleys, dale and field, and all the craggy mountains yield. There will we sit upon the rocks and see the shepherds feed their flocks by shallow rivers to whose falls melodious birds sing madrigals. There will I make thee beds of roses and a thousand fragrant posies, a cap of flowers and a kirtle embroidered all with leaves of myrtle, a gown made of the finest wool which from our pretty lambs we pull, fair lined slippers for the cold with buckles of the purest gold, a belt of straw and ivy buds with coral clasps and amber studs, and if these pleasures may thee move, come live with me and be my love. Thy silver dishes for thy meat as precious as the gods do eat shall on an ivory table be prepared each day for thee and me. The shepherd swains shall dance and sing for thy delight each May morning. If these delights thy mind may move, then live with me and be my love. Wrote Christopher Marlowe, the passionate shepherd, to his love. That's the Writer's Almanac for Monday, June the 29th. Be well, do good work and keep in touch.